Well, Girls District started off with a huge contest Monday night featuring Big North Conference leader Petoskey scoring off against Marquette. The Redettes, they got the big win over the Lady Northmen in that one. Tonight, though, to get to the district final, Marquette would have to go through another Big North foe, this time the Titans of Traverse City West. Let's see what unfolds, shall we? Starting off in the second quarter. Titans getting some good coaching right before that second quarter. And Lauren Ellison passes to Katie Plasic. Fights off three defenders to get to the basket, so you know she earned every two points of that one. Each and every two points. TC then turns to Kimmy Belinsky, dribbles it in. It's a nice layup to go. Turn to Marquette's side of the floor. Kirsten Iwanski. At least Iwanski, Iwanski. It'd be cool if it was Iwanski, but Iwanski might be more likely to be her name. Passes to Morgan Silbert. Hunter Vitell is the one who scored the three-pointer there. Then West, Kylie Kreppel inside. Paris Wagner gets the bucket to go back to Kreppel. She finds Paris Wagner once again, and it's Plasic who tosses it in. Good teamwork there. The Titans, they go on to win a rematch of last night's boys game between Glen Lake and St. Francis. This time it's a district semi. Lakers right away. Scotland Bregman feeds Jordan Poplinski down low. We turn now to Liza Erickson. She seems to make every glad highlight, and there's a good reason for it. 23 points tonight, also 1,000 career points for Miss Erickson. Great contributions there. Then Bregman responds right away for the Lakers, running it down the floor. And even more offense from Glen Lake. Poplinski finds Maddie, downtown Brown, for the basket. It was downtown Traverse City, so that kind of works. Miss Glad's shot turns into a rebound and a make by Caitlin Feeney here. And then the Glads are going to turn to Bridget Bustle, just a loaded deep team. St. Francis is. They can get shooters from everywhere all around the floor, and they advance to the district final at home 48 to 28. They win by 20. Well, the other semifinal at the St. Francis district involved Boyne City and the Elks. Right away, the Elks turn to Michelle Costa, who finds Rachel Hintz down low, and gets it to Anna Garwood, then putting them up by three. Staying with El Graphic now, Costa dribbles down, picks up another quick two. We check over on the Ramblers now. Rainy McCune, Rainy, makes it rain over to Mary Myers, who puts them back in the game with that basket. Back to Elk Graphics. Paige Granger gets it to Kelsey Waite, adding another two. Boyne City fires right back, though. It's McCune, tries it, bounces off, but Myers is there for the save and the rebound and the putback. Ball back over to Elk Graphics now. Garwood passes to Hintz, who gets the basket. Lady Elks, they go on to take this one final by eight, 49 to 41. So you have Elks and Glads in the final on Friday. Good Wednesday night crowd at Leland and Lake Leland on St. Mary's tonight. Right away, Felicia Whitaker for the comments with the pass to Maggie Osario. Oh, so sorry to the opposing team. She drops that in. Leland, then Caitlin McKee down the court. Layup is good. Back to the Eagles. Pass to Lindsey Boone. Beautiful two point shot. Puts St. Mary's on the board, but back come the comments. Whitaker again puts it up. It falls short, but it falls right into the hands of Miranda Harrison, who makes the basket. St. Mary's not backing down an inch. Rachel Thawne easily tosses this one in. We now check over to a quick pass on the Leland side. Caitlin McKee to Maddie Trumbull, making him tremble with that shot. Up and in, the Eagles go, and a pass from Megan Pop. Popping it over to Rachel Thorne once again, making it a close one tonight, but Leland they would come out on top, winning this one by two. Close one in Lake Blue on St. Mary's, 50 to 48, your final. Let's check in on some hockey. Trojans hosting a second round hockey playoff game at Howe Arena tonight. They won in double overtime Monday. Let's see if they can beat Grand Haven tonight. Right away, Grand Haven gets on the board. Tom Zelenka with the putback goal, but the Trojans would score as well later in the first. Kyle Ludwig gets the goal here. We're tied at one. Unfortunately, the Trojans couldn't win the shootout of goals tonight. They fall to Grand Haven, final five to four.